We're looking forward to Sunday, 9 and 11. We'll be live online. You can catch us on Facebook, on YouTube, or on our website. And if you ever miss the live opportunity, you can always pull it up. It's on demand all week long. It's a good way. You can even send it to friends and stay connected to people and giving encouragement in our spiritual journey. Here's a scripture that really ties into this Christmas season from Luke chapter 2. In fact, this is really the framework of what we'll be talking about on Sunday, how Jesus came and the shepherds were the first ones notified about it. They weren't some big deal, high tower kind of people. They were out taking care of, of their sheep in the field. And it really helps us understand how Jesus came for everyone, and he's no respecter of persons, but everyone matters. In Luke chapter 2, verse 8, in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. Who wouldn't be to have an experience like that? And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. We have a Savior. He was brought to us, born into this world, so that we could be redeemed. He came to make everything right. And we're living in that season of redemption today because of Jesus, because of his birth, and we're excited to celebrate that this Sunday. Don't miss it. Also, next week, with Christmas Eve coming, we're going to have a special Christmas Eve presentation. I've gone out to several places within our community and been on spot, on site, different sites to talk about Jesus and what he means to us in many different areas of our life. Kathy joins me for a part of our teaching leading into that Christmas Eve experience and then having communion together. And we've provided a watch party box we'd like you to pick up so you could use it to follow along. There's notes in it about what we'll be talking about. Communion that we are providing in that box that you can share with us. Some glow sticks if you have children that you can use. Candles that will light at the end of that service. It's going to be dynamic. The string quartet will begin it. Beautiful music. Jeanette's going to sing a Christmas song that is really powerful and impacting, and we're going to have a great Christmas Eve experience. You can pick up that watch party box by a drive through In fact, I'm going to be here on campus the 23rd, next Wednesday, from noon to 1. So if some don't want to come out at, in the night at dark, we'll be here from noon to 1 and then from 6 to 8, so after work, just driving right through the front of the parking area in front of the the fountain. I'll be there and others to greet you, to wish you a Merry Christmas, to provide a watch party box that we can share together on Christmas Eve. Looking forward to it. Don't miss it. We'll hope to see you on Sunday.